Although we want our cat to spend time with us and show us affection, there are situations when this behavior can be due to an unhealthy dependence. Animal Wise helps you know what to expect if your cat is too clingy. Symptoms of a clingy cat We can tell a cat has become too attached when we observe certain signs and behaviors. The first might be displays of anxiety when left alone or when they don't have access to you. For example, they may meow desperately, stop eating, overgroom themselves, urinate or defecate outside the litter box, or simply be unable to sleep. They may constantly follow you around the home, wake from sleep when you get up, or be unable to relax anywhere you are not. They may display ambiguous behaviors when they are next to you, such as avoiding your touch, but still refusing to leave your side. After you spend some time apart, they may greet you in an upset manner with heightened emotion, or they may appear stressed, distant, or even aggressive as if they were annoyed with you. Finally, other symptoms of clinginess in cats include either not playing alone or not playing with individuals other than yourself, not exploring their environment, or being overly suspicious of strangers. Why is my cat so clingy? Various factors influence a cat's level of attachment, including their breed, whether they were adopted as a kitten, and their previous experiences. If you raise a cat from being a kitten, we need to ensure their needs are met during every stage of their development. Some behaviors, such as being overprotective of the kitten, ignoring calls for attention, isolating them for long periods, or not providing sufficient socialization or environmental enrichment, can lead to various behavioral problems in adulthood. Discover more on how to care for kittens with our first info video above. Emotional dependency can only be correctly diagnosed by evaluating a series of factors over and above what caregivers may notice on a daily basis. This assessment is best carried out by a feline ethologist. If you notice your cat is too clingy, here are some practical tips which may help. Rule out any ailment or physical pathology. When there is a behavioral problem, the first thing to do is rule out whether the cat is suffering from a physical ailment or pathology. Some diseases manifest themselves in behavioral changes of the animal, including being more demanding of attention than usual. A checkup with a veterinarian can help assess the physical well-being of the cat. Enrich their environment. Interactive games, stuffed toys, jumping platforms, climbing towers, and other environmental enrichment keep your cat entertained while stimulating them physically and mentally. They meet their basic needs as a species, so they are a great ally when it comes to encouraging play and entertaining themselves when you're not there. Find out the best ways to play with your cat in the next info video. Let them explore. Even if you fear something may happen to your cat, you should avoid overprotecting and isolating them. Cats are curious animals by nature, and it's important we encourage exercising their instincts in a healthy way. By exploring independently, they gain confidence and self-assurance. To avoid accidents, you can place guards on windows or patios so they cannot escape, or even try taking them for a walk in a harness. Don't ignore them. Many people try to reduce their cat's dependency by ignoring them and avoiding physical contact. In doing so, the animal may become increasingly anxious. It's important you create a healthy relationship with your feline, that you play with them and provide affection so they know they can count on you when they need it, and at the same time, we use patience to show they cannot always get what they want. Avoid any type of punishment. Never yell or scold your cat if they show symptoms of anxiety or dependency on you. Clinginess is related to emotional discomfort and a lack of security, so the last thing they need is to be punished for expressing themselves. Try to understand your cat and, if you consider it necessary, contact a professional. Use products to reduce stress. Some products such as feline pheromones or catnip can have an anxiolytic effect on cats and help them cope with times of stress. These should always be accompanied by behavioral modification guidelines. Specific drugs for the treatment of these cases should only be administered under the prescription of your veterinarian or ethologist. If you want to continue learning about the behavior of cats, don't miss the playlist we share here. Is your cat overly clingy? Leave a comment with your thoughts, and we'll see you next time.